Continuing our coverage of the Nebraska governor's race, John Kipper is with Jim Pillen's campaign, the Republican candidate for governor. Kip, give us an idea of what it's like there in Lincoln. Well, this party has turned into a coronation, Mary, as Jim Pillen just got on stage a few minutes ago, declared victory, and he will be the 41st governor of the state of Nebraska. Crowd here was wild, excited with um, anticipation for what this Pillen administration could bring. He is bringing very similar policies, at least it seems right now, to what we're going to see with Governor Pete Ricketts. Low taxes, trying to cut taxes even more, a variety of other issues. But there was, some, before we get to that, there was some anxiety in the room earlier today as Carol Bunch started off the day with a pretty big lead. But as rural Nebraska votes came in and Republican votes from the bigger counties came in, Palin began to pull away. And that number is just getting bigger and bigger. As for what, is gonna, what he's going to do, he mentioned cutting taxes, among a few other issues that he wants to get at when he gets in the office. We'll fix this tax problem. <laughs> We'll defend agriculture as our number one economy. We'll defend and grow agriculture while it strengthens all of our communities across the state. And we will stand up for Now, also expect him to support some type of abortion restrictions in Nebraska. He mentioned he wants to protect life in his speech. Now, of course, that determined, it, it's going to be determined on how much legislative votes he's able to get. And a lot of those races are very close right now. So that issue is unclear. His last thought was, let's party. That's what it's going to be the rest of the night. Reporting in Lincoln, John Kipper, 3 News Now.